everybody and with the weekly reset rapidly approaching us it's actually gonna be happening pretty soon I thought I would show you guys the loot that I got for my hunter this week including the weekly crucible the nightfall and also the King's Fall raid so I will say that for my weekly crucible bounty I uh, the video sort of got corrupted there's nothing there it says it's 11 minutes long but it's actually like two seconds long it's gone. It's just gone. So I can't actually show you the loot that I got because I dismantled it because it was terrible. But basically, after I completed all of Shaxa's bounties, I turned it in and I got a purple shotgun. It was 283 attack. At the time that I completed it, I was 293 defense. Like, that was my light level. So it was way below my light level. The stats weren't good. It was just... It was just bad. I couldn't even use it to infuse anything. I just had to get rid of it and get some legendary marks, which, you know, I don't have a problem with. I like legendary marks, but I was very disappointed. <laughs> I was very disappointed. It takes a lot to be able to complete that quest so that you can do the weekly bounty, and the weekly bounty gave me absolutely nothing. But moving on to the Nightfall that was equally as kind to me. From the Nightfall, I got a Future War Cult helmet. It's a legendary one. It was a really low light level. <laughs> it was not the right le light level for myself, and the stats kind of sucked too. So that also became legendary marks. Now moving on to the only thing that was nice to me, that is the King's Fall Raid. I think it's because I constantly say that Oryx is awesome. Like I just, I just really like Oryx and I feel bad that he's dead. I just really, really like him. I don't know why, I just think he's awesome. Before I show you the loot, I do wanna ask you guys if you would like to see a full video on how to kill Oryx. Because the group that I was playing with, which consisted of my fiance, subscribers on Twitch, and my mods, we got it down to a pretty good science. So a strategy I think was really good. So if that's something that you guys would like me to share with you, please let me know in the comments comment section I will gladly do that for you but I got a decent amount of stuff from the King's Fall raid I was actually surprised because usually raids don't particularly like me so from the raid I got the cape called dark hollow mantle I really like it it's one of the things that I wanted really bad because I think it looks super cool you have like these little teeth around your hood which makes it look like you're in a monster's mouth. I don't know, I just think it's cool. <laughs> but I really like the look of it. And the next thing that I got was the shotgun called Silence of Our Arn, which has the standard perk on it where you do more damage to taken enemies, cocoon, which all of them have, hand-loaded, lightweight, and late stock. And we also have Life Leech, where if you get three kills, you get a little bit of health back and your health starts to regen, so not too shabby. For primaries, I actually got two. One of them that I got was the Pulse Rifle called Smite of Moraine. They have all the standard perks on it, but mine came with Firefly, and Firefly is really good for PvE, so I am not mad at that role whatsoever. I also got the Hand Cannon called Zowli's Bane, which has the standard perks that all of them come with, but mine has better hip fire and I felt like this wasn't a great perk, but I hip fire a lot in the Crucible, so maybe I'll use it in the Crucible and it'll be amazing. Who knows? It's a possibility. <laughs> and the last thing that I got that I know a lot of people wanted and I definitely needed was the ghost. The ghost looks so good. I don't know how safe it is to have a taken ghost in your pocket. It doesn't sound like a good idea, like a Taken Ghost does not sound like a good thing, but it looks super awesome and amazing. I absolutely love the way that it looks. My ghost was the one thing, well there's a few things, but it was the major thing that was holding back my light level. So to be able to get the ghost and bump my light level up was really, 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 really great. And it just, it just looks, it just looks amazing. It has to be the best looking ghost in the game. It just looks so good. The perks that come on the actual ghost itself are increased discipline or increased increased strength, we have Worm Spore Extractor or Worm Spore Sensor, and then we also get more glimmer when killing taken enemies. So that is it for my loot video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I always like seeing loot that other people got when it's early on in a game, because I just want to know how my luck is compared to theirs. And I'm sure your Nightfall look, luck and Weekly Crucible luck is better than mine. My raid luck was pretty good, so you might not be able to top me on that one, although I didn't get any armor. 
and I would really, really love some armor. I didn't get any. So sad, so sad. And like I said earlier in the video, if you are interested in a full guide on the actual orcs fight, let me know in the comment section and I can definitely do that for you. Tomorrow, we have something super exciting happening. I'm going to have the chaperone shotgun and I'm going to have it fully, fully leveled. I'm gonna use motes of light to level it up and I'm gonna show you how it is in PVP. I'm gonna do a live commentary with it with my first game using it so I can give you guys a real genuine first impressions of it. So that's gonna be super exciting. <laughs> okay guys, I will speak to you tomorrow. I love you all. Remember to stay positive and I'll speak to you later. <laughs> Bye.